Hi, it's Alaska Granny. There's a lot of reasons to be thankful for the prepping community and I really appreciate the shared blessings and the comments, the kindness that I receive in the comments. And I also appreciate the shared knowledge. We need to share what we know so that we can help each other become more self-reliant, more knowledgeable, more able to take care of ourselves and be aware of what's going on. Well, recently I made a video about all the different kinds of milk that you might want to have in your food storage stockpile in your prepper pantry. I also had done a video about some food items that I picked up at the Dollar Tree and one of them was the evaporated milk. And I just didn't pay attention. I didn't understand what it was. I didn't even notice. But on the label it says evaporated filled milk. And somebody said that is filled milk. Well, I, I never heard of filled milk. I didn't pay any attention to it. I'm looking at the beautiful Holstein cow on the label. What is healthier than milk from a Holstein? And it even says made in the USA. So at $1.25, it seemed like a great buy to have some shelf stable milk in the prepper pantry food storage stockpile. Thank you for bringing it to my attention because I did a little research and I want to share it with you that if you put side by side evaporated milk, evaporated filled milk, it looks to be the same. It doesn't even say that the one from Walmart is made in the USA. But look on the back, which is what we're supposed to be doing, but I neglected. Filled milk is actually any milk, cream, or skimmed milk. It can be condensed, evaporated, powdered, dried, or desiccated that has been added, blended, or compounded with fat or oil other than milk. Sure enough, if you look on the great value evaporated milk, it contains milk. And if you look on the evaporated filled milk, it contains milk, soybean oil, soy lecithin. I just never had heard of adding oil to what we think we're getting is milk. It never occurred to me that buying a can of milk wasn't milk and so I wanted to bring this to your attention in case you hadn't thought about it either. It turns out they started making filled milk back in Illinois in like 1923 or something and they actually made it illegal to sell in the United States. And here we are 100 years later, guess what? Not only are they selling this in the United States, but it's produced in the United States. So evidently, rules, times, laws have changed. Oh, we didn't notice anything like that lately, did we? Yeah. What's interesting is that filled milk is considered not suitable for drinking. Do you see anything on this label that says not suitable for drinking? No. Who would have thought milk available in a can right in the stores in America is considered unsafe for drinking? But it's considered suitable for baking and cooking. So if you have some of this in your prepper pantry food storage stockpile, you might want to be aware of that and decide if you want to use it in your cooking, but don't save it up in case you need milk for drinking. And also in the future, if you're in the store and you see filled milk, it might be something that you want to pass on, even if it costs a little more to actually get some actual evaporated milk. So once again, truth in labeling, but we have to actually get those Dollar Tree readers on and read the fine print so that we are aware of what we're buying and what we might want to be feeding our family and what we might not choose to have in our food storage stockpile. So if you learned something from this video that you think others would like to know, please share it with them. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.